no doubt about it, both traceability and sustainability. Both together are probably the biggest two issues today with every single brand. Hi everyone, I am Martina Skiuma and today with the D Factory we have Daniel Flesher, the Asia Regional Manager of Estadeza and Sergio Tripiloni, Lean Corporate Office Manager of Estadeza. Estadeza is strongly committed on sustainability and today that's going to be our main topic that we are going to discuss with our guests. So hi Sergio, hi Daniel, it's a pleasure to have you here. My name is yeah. Daniel Fleischer. I'm uh, in charge uh, of uh, Sadesa's business in Asia uh, on the commercial side. Uh, I've been uh, based in uh, Asia for the last 23, 24 years. Um, and now in Europe, spending half and half of my time in Europe and Asia. I thought that uh, being the topics to discuss traceability, especially uh, Sergio would be one of the our most suitable people to to be part of this as he's uh, really involved in these topics but uh, well Sergio will introduce himself anyway yeah thank you Daniel and thank you for saying that I'm the, the more suitable for for this topic uh, my name is Sergio Tripiloni uh, I have been working for Sadesa for the last uh, 35 years um, I, I enter very young, so I still very young. No, no don't tell that I'm, I'm old. Um, based uh, now in Esperanza plant, I am from Buenos Aires, but I have been here for 20 years. I'm in charge of uh, nowadays, uh, or for the last 20 years, uh, in the SEO uh, office, uh, Lean Corporate Office. Uh, I'm in charge of the quality system, that we, depending on the on the customer, uh, we have different certifications, uh, the quality certifications that we apply for different plants. And also in charge of all the lean initiatives in, in corporate group uh, in order to improve uh, productive productivity and best practices in, in, in the different sites uh, of the company. Um, I'm working with the LWG, the working group, in all the audits that they do in the group. Uh, I'm in charge. I am the person who, who talk with the with the auditor. Um, I prepare all the all the issues for for the uh, for the audit. And uh, on the other side, I, I work with uh, uh, with you in all implementation with the SHIOX uh, requirements. Uh, Eugenia is uh, the customer service and the hand in the plant uh, is my office and we implement all the uh, in either factory uh, initiatives. That's all. Thank you for introducing yourself. Uh, Sadeza is among the top performers uh, of traceability on the ID platform among over 300 users that are actually using the platform. And Sadeza is also one of the leading tanning groups in the world, specialized in high quality woven leather for the most demanding footwear, leather goods and upholstery industries. So it's really, really thank you for being here and for sharing your experience with us. I would like to ask you something more about uh, uh, yourself. Uh, how do you think uh, uh, corporate responsibility can play a role in, uh, in the leather industry and what's this role? And really uh, start to introduce uh, uh, what do you think is important for your company on this topic? The, the social responsibility nowadays is not only for, for the tanning industry, it's for all the, the, the factories that they, they want to, to, to work uh, with the world, uh, exporting the products. Uh, it's something that we uh, started to work with this 20 years ago uh, with our policy. Um, we implement this uh, policy in all the sites and uh, 
we we have had uh, some uh, many many um, audits for corporate responsibility, and we pass them very 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 good. And it's important for the business and also for for nowadays the society they 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 are not going to allow any factory that works without corporate responsibility. So nowadays it's a must. Maybe maybe we could add Sergio that uh, we are a, a group of uh, of tanneries in different uh, countries and uh, we are very well aligned and our systems and policies are the same uh, internally and externally wherever we are and the as Sergio was explaining, we take these issues very seriously. And as, as you mentioned, Martina, I mean, we are working with the, uh, with the top level brands, including Geox, uh, right? Which is our, our uh, customer in common. And uh, we, we work towards them and uh, to comply all the different uh, protocols that we have. As I mentioned, introducing you, we are making this interview because you are among the top performers in terms of traceability. So I want to ask you, how would you describe traceability using your own words? Well, traceability is the system where we can track um, the production um, uh, outside Sadesa, and also we have an internal traceability in order to know how the process are, are, are done and how uh, in, in, if something go wrong with the production, how, how to catch the problem and attack the problem very easily. Uh, it's something that we developed uh, from the beginning. I have been here for 30 years and, and, and then we have uh, had a traceability system all this time. And nowadays, the customers, they are asking, customers like Shiox, they are asking uh, traceability uh, for us. And I understand that they are very important for, because they customers, they want to know where is the, the materials, where they come from. At Sedeza, we source hides that are a byproduct of the food industry. Let's take a look at the system we have in place to ensure traceability and visibility. We source our hides from bovine cattle that are raised for food in Argentina, Uruguay, and Paraguay, that have been freely bred in the countryside, free of anabolic and steroids, grass-fed on natural pampas, from fields not previously deforested for this purpose. We supply directly from packing houses. From raw material until finished leather, all operations take place under our roofs, assuring traceability and visibility. Strong partnerships and long-lasting relationships with Maine packers committed to comply with Sedeza's rawhide purchasing policy, as well as all local regulations ensure best practices in animal welfare. Live cattle is transported not more than 250 kilometers on average, keeping in mind welfare and well-being at all times. All hides are identified with a code upon arrival to the tannery and can be traced throughout production to the finished leather. This is how we transform a byproduct into a useful and beautiful material with a circular process and guaranteeing full traceability, responsibly in a sustainable way. And what do you think could be the main problems you would face without traceability? Well, you know, we, we are part of the chain. So we need to make sure that every stage of the chain and every part of the chain is working properly. Uh, usually the, it is, but they sometimes might not. So we, this is for us a, a very, again, when we are talking about the systems, what Sergio was explaining that we have implemented long ago and we keep 
uh, updating and uh, improving those systems because probably what we ha what we had 35 years ago are not is not exactly the same as what we have today which is much more probably sophisticated technified and uh, th than what we used to have uh, but it's critical for us to 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 make sure that everything from the from the height that we get from the slaughterhouse up to the end is correct and up to standard and up to what we have to do and up to our customers expectations right okay the the, the big experience that we have uh, for for traceability is with shields uh, and the id factory and i think that the, from the beginning we start uh, developing, uh, helping you to develop the, the, the tool that we are using nowadays. We 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 ship letters to Geox every day. I mean, and it's not it's an integrated uh, system, right? It's not shipments only. I mean, the claims, the forecast, everything is handled through the system right now, uh, and is is working. And uh, because it's working, everything is is. Uh, is uh, flowing uh, quite uh, smoothly, but today is flowing and we are not seeing uh, problems. On the contrary, we find the information. Uh, we are, in a way, we all share the same system with the factories and Geox is working. Uh, and as I said, it's not just the, our, our leather being shipped. It's also information about uh, forecasting that helps our planning is information about claims that we might need to resolve with the factories so uh, no it's working well and uh, and yeah i mean if you ask me today what else we could add to the system i'm not so sure right now because again there are uh, mostly every stage of our business is is going through that system now no i mean there is no manual works or side works i would say of course, we still deal with the, we still talk to the factories every day uh, for other issues, documents or payments or uh, things that are outside the system. But all in all, the system, I think, is working very well. So I want to, to ask you in a more uh, broader sense, uh, how do you think technology can support a more traceable, transparent, and sustainable leather industry. The systems, technology, and uh, uh, today is key and is a big part of what we do. Uh, it's not like before. Uh, the, our our uh, industry evolved uh, a lot in that uh, sense, same as other industries too. Uh, let, let me tell you that there is something that the, the thing that you don't measure, the thing that you don't control. So. Uh, if you can nowadays with the technology we can measure a lot of things that 30 years ago we couldn't measure um, co2 emissions <clears throat> uh, we can measure um, many things in the wastewater treatment plant and before we couldn't do it and for sure they are in in the way that you measure the way that you uh, control uh, and you can manage the sustainability in all the process. Let's talk about traceability and uh, you, Sergio, you mentioned that traceability can be also important from a sustainability perspective for measuring, you mentioned the CO2. I want to ask you if your clients, if your customers value this uh, uh, aspect of sustainability and traceability, and if not, which challenges you have faced dealing with your customers' expectations on the topic? All the day. For us today, uh, sustainability is a big part of our agenda with every brand, uh, uh, no doubt about it, both traceability and sustainability. Both together are probably the biggest two issues today with every single brand. And uh, we, uh, as we said from the very beginning, we take it very seriously in every of our tanneries, uh, through the systems, through everything we do. Uh, to comply with our brand, with our brands as as much as possible. 
and which have been, if you can remember, uh, some of the highest sustainability expectations uh, some of your clients uh, have asked you? Water usage reduction, electricity reduction, uh, everything related to, to that and the waste reduction, especially, you know, the chemicals, the chemicals, chemicals sure. how, what, what you use, uh, how you use and, and how much you use of the, every chemical uh, in order not only at the, at, at the, in the past it was um, the, the, the leather, they, they have the restricted substances a list and you can check only for the leather. Nowadays, they are, we have to check the uh, incoming material, the incoming, the incoming chemicals in order that during the use, yes, they, they, they are not going to have problem with the environment or uh, health of the, of the workers. So, then, yeah. Martina, there is a, there's, a, there's a point that uh, we always try to, to make, which I think is a, a, as an industry, not only for, for Sadesa. I mean, a leather is a byproduct of the, of the beef industry. There's no doubt about this. I mean, as, as long as people will continue to eat beef, there's going to be leather, right? So uh, then this is where we come and we, we try to get the skins and, and convert the, the material into a beautiful, durable, sustainable product. Uh, and we do it through sustainable systems, sustainable productions everywhere where we produce. Leather is a byproduct. As the world population continues to grow, High value protein is hugely important to satisfy the demand for a complete and healthy diet. The meat industry offers consumers the choice of protein. Hides are one of the resulting byproducts of their operation. We have an ethical choice to make. Hides can be disposed into landfills causing significant environmental damage, or hides can be upcycled into leather a beautiful, noble, and durable material used in shoes, handbags, and or car seats. We should stop wasting natural resources. Products and materials must be kept in the economy. Let's transform this byproduct into a useful and beautiful material and do it responsibly in a sustainable way. It's important what you say that as an industry, uh, Sadesa, it's a, it's a take take a byproduct, yeah, from the, the slaughterhouse industry, from the meat industry, and we are the first one that we are recycling a product, yeah, because if the tanneries they don't exist, they they are going to drop the, 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 into the, the land. Sadesa. Leather production for a circular economy. Trimmings are used to produce gelatin for the food industry. Grease from raw hides is converted into tallow used to produce biodiesel. High quality compost is produced by mixing hair with soy stover for local vegetable producers. Shavings waste is converted into very effective organic fertilizers. Chromium coming from process is transformed into chromium sulfate and reused. Our processes are optimized to reduce water consumption. Water is reused and finally cleaned to avoid the alteration of the natural water courses where they are poured. Thermal and electrical energy we use come from renewable resources, reducing carbon footprint. Green chemistry and process follow the strictest local and international regulations. Recycled and recyclable packaging. This is how we transform a byproduct into a useful and beautiful material, responsibly in a sustainable way. But when it comes to um, the sustainability credentials, how do you communicate them to your customers? Well, uh, we we go through the media. We have our pages, our Instagram and, uh, and, uh, and same as everybody else, uh, but uh, 
we we have direct communication with our main customers uh, almost uh, at all times and this is for us the key so i want to thank you both daniel and sergio for your um yes for your for sharing thank you very much no thank you martina and uh, anytime i mean uh, is uh, is nice working with all of you and uh, let's keep in touch